Good morning and welcome back in once again to Morning Moments with Jesus. I pray that you've been with us this week as we've been discussing in our devotion time the power of prayer. You may have heard that title or message or devotions before on the power of prayer, but I really want to key in on that phrase because there is much power in communicating and talking uh, with the Father, Almighty God. And when we look at our prayer life as a conversation, as a way to sit down and communicate with God, but conversation is more than just us talking. It's also God talking to us. And I've said this before, uh, sometimes at Sunrise Chapel, that uh, there are many times where we will take the time to sit down or kneel or how we uh, posture ourselves position ourselves to pray and then as soon as we finish praying we get up and go about our business of doing something else that was us talking to God but have you ever realized that when you pray and speak and talk about the things that you desire in your life or you need in your life and you pray to God have you ever taken the time to just sit there for a moment in silence and allow God's spirit to begin to speak to you because conversation is not only speaking it's listening and so this morning as we wrap up uh, this devotion time of the power of prayer we recap by saying we should always begin by praising the Lord then after our praise and adoration to the Father for who he is through Christ Jesus then we begin to confess some of the things or or, or all of the things that are in our lives that may hinder our prayer life and hinder our walk with God. Once we confess them, we need to release them and just let God have them so that we can have the freedom to move on in prayer and in our daily walk. Then we begin to make intercession for others, for people who are in our lives, for situations, for our country, for the world, for lost souls and those types of things. Then we get into the place where we come to the Lord and and we talk about uh, Him giving us the spiritual eyesight to walk through that day, the protection and the provisions that are necessary to do that. But all of those things have no meaning at all unless we get this last thing that God gives us today. Even though there is no magic formula or no special way a person should pray because Each individual has their own way of talking to God. But there is one key thing that the Lord speaks of in His Word that must be there in order for productive communication to take place and the power of prayer to work in our lives. And that is we must always pray in the Spirit. That is key. Listen to what the Apostle Paul writes in a couple of different places. In Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 18, after he talks about the armor of God, we covered this earlier in the week, I believe, but verse 18 in Ephesians 6 says this, Praying always with all prayer and supplication, now listen to this, in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. See, it is key that we Pray in the power of the Holy Spirit because we can talk to God and not really be in the Spirit. We can be thinking about a thousand other things while we're trying to pray. And we communicate. Yes, we we lift up our voices and we speak what we want or what we need. We may even praise Him with our lips. But it is very difficult to hear the voice of God coming back to you. If you're not praying in the right spirit. He also writes in Romans chapter 8. In verses 26 and 27. Listen to what he says. Likewise the spirit also helps our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray. But the spirit itself makes intercession for us. With groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the heart's knows what is the mind of the Spirit. Now listen to this. Because He makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. 
You see what the Spirit does? The Holy Spirit connects us with the Father through the blood of Jesus Christ that we may be able to not only speak to Him, but allow Him to speak to our hearts. That's where the peace and joy and permission to proceed in things come from, is praying in the Spirit. Let me wrap it up by saying what he writes to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. For as it is written, eye has not seen nor ear heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Now we quote that a lot. But listen to verse 10. But God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things. Yes, even the deep things of God. So when you pray today, it may be a couple of minutes, it may be a couple of hours. But however long you pray is not nearly as important as the Spirit in which you pray. So take a little time to just spend a little time with Jesus and pray in the right spirit under the power of the Holy Spirit for that truly is the power of prayer. Be safe today. Be strong and be blessed. Have a great day.